Hi friends, welcome to M3 Design Tutorials. This is Murugesh. Today I'm going to show you how to make a water tank in a Creo Parametric. So first of all, if you like the video, please please subscribe my channel. Now let's start the work. So go to New Part and write the name you want. I'm writing uh, water tank. Okay. Sorry, this is already exists. I'm putting double zero one. Yes, click OK. Now go to front plane, click on sketch and sketch view icon. Okay, now take a line tool and draw a line here. Now click escape and height of the tank is four foot so type 4 into 30.4 into 10 yes this measurement is in mm or millimeter now take a arc tool 3 point arc tool and make a arc like this okay now type 1045 here and here 500 okay now complete the shape by line tool okay now click on ok go to revolve click on middle line and ok now the basic shape of the tank is completed now we have to make the other designs yes now click on plane display select the middle plane and click on sketch yes now take a reference tool from here click on this curve and also this line ok now take a arc tool concentric arc tool click on this curve and drag it below to make a new one sorry do it again zoom it first to make it come perfect yes make it here from here ok now Take a line tool sorry take a line tool and make line like this make a little bit more bigger ok click on ok and click on extrude yes now select this icon and type 100 now click on ok now we have to delete the unnecessary parts so uh, select uh, bottom play a bottom view select bottom view from here now I'm showing you the unnecessary part yes we have to delete this part so click on sketch and select this plane and take a reference icon and click on this arc and this point and this point yes now take a concentric arc and click on here from this point to this point ok now take a line tool and make a shape like this ok make a shape like this and click on ok now go to extrude 
and extrude it and click on remove material to remove that unnecessary part now click on ok now select these four actions or four models and right click and group now go to pattern click on axis and click on this axis we have to make four uh, similar parts or designs so 90 degree and click ok ok now we have to go to go and make the further designs so click on sketch sketch and click here ok now take a reference icon and select this middle line now go to not a circle sorry take a line tool and make a line from here to here cross line now scroll click on this line and take angle is 45 degree now take a center line tool and make a center line from here on the reference lines ok now select the mirror icon and mirror icon click on this line and select the middle line we have made before now select these both lines and do the same thing take a measurement as 300 click ok sorry you have to make a 310 so right click and click on edit definition and write 310 ok now click on extrude now extrude this material inside the tank or like this you can see here ok now again take a sketch select this plane take a reference tool and click on this middle line we have do, done before take a circle and draw here measurement as 100 sorry 300 and click on ok now go to extrude extrude this material sorry not a 20 a 30 uh, mm click on ok now we can see it's taking a shape now we have to add the roundness to the edges so take a round tool and click on this edge take a measurement as uh, 15 mm now click on all edges yes this it is very important to uh, give it a perfect look now click on ok now we have to make the last design of the tank so click on this plane and click on plane icon drag this plane above and set it at uh, 900 mm uh, type 900 here ok now click on ok now click on sketch and take a circle tool and draw a circle here it's a diameter of 1000 mm ok now go to sweep tool and click on sketch icon and 
draw a circle here as a diameter of 30 mm click on ok now click on remove material yes now go to pattern click here a direction and give a vertical direction Sorry, click on axis, a vertical axis. Now type here, drag it below, and type here five. Okay. Set measurement as one eighty five mm. Click OK. Now the shape of the tank is uh, completed. Now click on round and give 20 mm. Click OK. Now take a shell tool and click here. Type 2. Now we can see the hollowness of the tank. OK. Now we have to render the whole image to make it look real so now go to render here render and click on render setup and set these values the quality high accuracy high ok now go to appearance gallery select this material click on edit model appearances sorry first of all apply this material to the default material yes select this material and click a part take a part and uh, apply the material now go to appearance gallery and click on edit model appearances now set these values I'm showing here ok now go to scene and click on lights now default light is already visible now take a new light from here and take a light bulb take this light light bulb and increase the intensity and place it here to give a perfect effect of render increase the intensity also increase the intensity of default light now go to scene and select this scene click on render window it may take a time because it is depend upon your PC RAM and processor wait for completion ok now go to display style and click on shading with reflections now select this scene now do it again render window now you will see the perfect effect of rendering Okay. now the modeling is completed I have just show you how to make it not by a perfect dimension but because it may take a too much time so thank you for watching please please subscribe my channel if you like the video thank you goodbye have a nice day